As Ghana celebrates 50 years of independence, the economy is booming and the government would like to bring the benefits of grid electricity to all. But with the grid's expansion, demand has rocketed and the supply is under pressure. Power cuts and rationing are an everyday occurrence, even in Accra, the capital. So Deng Solar is using the sun to bring more reliable power to those already connected and those living beyond the grid's reach. In less than two decades, Ghana has tripled the number who have access to mains electricity and theoretically 57% of its population is connected. But with the supply depending heavily on the main hydroelectric station on the River Volta, the supply is at risk as a lack of rain has caused the water level to drop perilously low. The low level of water in the reservoir has caused this uh, problem of a low supply for electricity in the country. All over Ghana, you have 12 hours on, 12 hours off. By turning to the heavens, Deng Solar has found a way to deliver a reliable supply. Ghana has an abundance of sunshine. More than 300 days a year, you can say in a way that the sun is Ghana's oil. We have uh, all these power cuts and the uh, solar gives them the assurance of having electricity available at any time. You couldn't rely on the national grid to supply you throughout your working hours. At some point, we needed to find a, a way of solving that problem. And that is how come we got this solar backup system. Until now, poorly designed, unreliable solar systems have created distrust with consumers. So Deng has set up a center to train solar technicians. The idea is when these people are trained, they'll be able to explain the technology, they'll be able to be in the various districts and uh, rural communities so that they can even sell these solar systems. Though solar is expensive, it's very, very economical. If you have solar, you don't bother about uh, power curtailment and also but all that you pray for is the sun to shine for you. The training uh, is very important actually we wanted to uh, uh, provide the necessary uh, sustainability and also the capacity building in uh, the rural districts. Then you had to have a training centre. Training is at the heart of creating a sustainable solar future. And as part of their training, these technicians have to install a real system. We have the solar panel on top of the roof. And when the sun shines on it, it causes the electrons in that material to move. That creates electric currents. As part of its drive to reach the parts mains electricity can't, Deng is setting up a network of dealers in rural areas. And in addition to training, Deng offers a credit scheme to encourage them to invest in the initial costs of buying stock. Everybody is happy about the system. The training, in fact, has actually encouraged me to do the proper sizing for them so they are satisfied with their results. With reliable installation, confidence in the solar market is at last soaring and benefits range from delivering piped water to the rural poor to providing small businesses with light. A lot of people do pass here in the night. They pump in to see why there's no power and yet my house is having light. I talked to them about it and they became interested. So after I've installed the ads for them, they also spread the good news to other people, their friends, their relatives, and they do come almost every month for new installations. If we want to do our work in the night, and we will tell our father to put the solar on first to do the work, I have some benefit from it. If you do not have the solar, we can't learn. In Ghana, people are finally seeing how choosing solar power won't just guarantee a reliable supply, but will also benefit the planet. I'm hoping that by the end of this year, I'll be completely running my centre on solar. There will be no national grid because solar is very, very efficient. There's abundant sunlight and uh, just name it, everything here can work on solar.